welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Friday, okay, TGIF. Uh, my light went out. Why did it go out? I don't know. It took the day off. Um, okay, wanted to talk about, uh, well, first of all, let's talk about some of this NECA stuff, and then we'll talk about uh, just a few other things. Uh, kind of a slow, other than the NECA stuff, a little bit of a slow uh, news week, although I guess that's a good thing. But here it is, uh, NECA official. Can't make it to San Diego this year. Friday, June 3rd, 2022, we'll be putting a limited stock of our convention exclusives on the NECAstore.com. Limited stock, okay? Items are pre-order and will ship after the show. That's another one to note. Is that These are not going to come out in July, okay? Now we're, I guess the new norm is it comes out after Comic-Con, okay? Uh, limited time will be posted this upcoming week. Prices are as listed with bundle shipping available while supplies last. Multiple orders will be canceled, okay? So, uh, Friday, June 3rd. We don't have the time yet. I will do a post or a video or something with the time when it comes up. But uh, And we'll do a purchase video, okay? Because uh, whether this goes well or we whether this turns into a complete shit show, I got to capture it on camera, okay? Uh, but uh, so you get the, tr the, the TMNT... Premutation four pack, 150. So is 150? Is that is that the new norm for for the four packs? Because um, they were cheaper before, right? I think they were. Uh, the thing, 40th anniversary poster figure, uh, 50 bucks. Uh, if you didn't see it, it's pretty cool. It's basically the thing poster, but it's like a 3D version of it. And then you get Gremlins uh, two wedding Greta for 50 bucks. And then this Dungeons and Dragons Lost Wave four pack. Um, I didn't go over it. It's a hundred bucks. Pretty simple figures, but I guess a lot of people uh, want them. I'm not. I, I'm, I was into the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Truth be told, I'm not super connected to this. My apologies, but um, I'm definitely in for the uh, for the four pack and the Greta. Okay. Although maybe this thing sells out so fast, maybe I just try to get the the four pack and, and GTFO. Who knows? But uh, yeah, no times yet. Uh, the first comment is, here we go again. Yes, here we go again. That's what I feel every time these, uh, these limited exclusive things go up. But maybe it'll be better, okay? Uh, the, 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 the recent, uh, stuff on the NECA store, I've gotten pretty easily, uh, within the first, I don't know, five minutes or something, first ten minutes. Maybe the days of, like, ten seconds sellout are gone for, 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 for NECA TMNT. I don't know. But I will be there Friday I'll make a video. I will be there with bells on. Anybody tries to take me away from my mission, it's not going to work, okay? I'm 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 keeping that day wide open, okay? Because I do I do need to secure this pack. And then um and then yeah, in terms of is it going to go up in Target? Uh I I don't know. Uh, obviously the the last convention exclusive went up in Target, but last year there was also no convention. So you know, it's a little bit of a different story, okay? Um, although I, I do know that NECA loves money, okay, as companies tend to do. So I, I, I have a feeling they'll, you know, if they're smart, they'll make this readily available. But what does that mean, okay? Anyway, that's the info for now, okay? Can't make it to San Diego this year. June 3rd, they'll put up some limited stock. Uh, okay, so is there anything else uh, to talk about this Mesco uh, Green Goblin, uh, the Marvel uh, 112 Collective uh, Deluxe Green Goblin. I'm a fan of this uh, of this new Spider-Man line. Okay, I know Mesco is is pricey. Okay, so this is first of all, you can get this at retailers. I think for like 110, 112 bucks. Uh, they had a Spider-Man that I did a video on, uh, but uh, they're doing a Green Goblin. I think they're also doing a, a, a Doctor Octopus. But the Green Goblin is up now. And I just really love the look of this. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for like, even though I didn't grow up with it, it's before my time. I'm just like a sucker of like the old school, like 60s, like style, uh, uh, sort of Steve Ditko style, Spider-Man and all the villains. And so this Green Goblin just looks really fucking cool, man. Uh, the, the pose, this pose here just kind of sold me. You know, how he just can kind of crouch down and you can hold the handle. I just love that. I love how the the, the, the glider looks. Okay, just scroll through the pictures, his face and the the smoke on the glider, and then you have the the Norman Osborn head and uh, um, 
Here's him throwing a frog. Is that something he did? He just threw frogs at people? I don't know. Uh, but uh, here's him fighting Spider-Man. And then where's, let's get to the, uh, this one. This is a cool fucking shot too. This one reminds me of the fucking, uh, there's like an Alex Ross shot that kind of looks like that with the shadows and shit. Um, here's him. Here's a, a bunch of shit that he comes with. So one, two, three. So five heads in total. Okay. Two Norman Osborn heads. And then uh, all the hands. Comes with a lot of shit. Here's more stuff. It's actually not bad for 112 bucks. Um, I mean, considering Mesco's prices. Here's his little fucking bag. The messenger bag. And then uh, uh, ghost bomb and frog. Oh, it's a bomb. Ghost bomb and frog bomb. I just thought he had like a poison frog and he just threw it at Spider-Man or something. Um, goblin mask can be held. I love that. Love all the pumpkin bombs. He comes with a lot of shit. And then he has a hand that kind of tosses like a fiery pumpkin bomb. And then, then you go into the glider, and the glider has the smoke things. I guess you can use that. Oh, that's fucking cool. You can almost use that as like, um, as a, like a stand. Uh, two gonga hovering and goblin uh, glider thruster. Uh, yeah, man, I'm going to pre-order this. I, I, I would love to have like that old school Spider-Man fighting this old school uh, green, green goblin. And, uh, and yeah, they're doing... Uh, they're doing good shit, okay? Uh, Mesco is... is I, there's something I like about the traditional style. I know, though, I will say, if you're looking for extreme po posability, this is not the way to go. Uh, but um, I don't know. It looks like it poses good enough for, for the shit that I was thinking about doing with him. So, um, so yeah. So, take a look out for that. What else? What else? I did want to talk about... Well, first of all, uh, up today, uh, they had this... Uh, I got one real early in the morning. I got an alert and I was like, oh, fuck, let me try to get this. It was on the Mattel Creations page. Um, where the fuck is it? It's sold out now. It's this Koldar guy right here. Koldar. <laughs> I don't know anything about Koldar. I, I read the little blurb about it, but uh, I just uh, thought this guy was really cool. I like his helmet. I like his beard, okay? And um, I went in on this, and then it sold out, I think, like 10 minutes later. Uh, but uh, um, I don't know if they're releasing this as a figure that's just a little bit altered in the standard line, or if this is the only way you could get him. Um, I do know that with Triclops, I missed out on the first run of those Triclops, and then I got it the second time they re-released it. So I wouldn't pay markup for this uh, just yet, because they'll probably re-release it. So uh, there's that guy. And I didn't talk about these last time, but I really love these um, Legends of Dragonor figures. Uh, so it's Formo, Formo Toys. Okay, so I'm getting this from Toy Arc. First wave of the Masters of the Universe inspired. So it's Masters of the Universe inspired figure line by Formo Toys is now available to pre-order Legends of Dragonor. The beginning features uh, five-inch uh, scale figures, uh, six points of articulation, and you can get the whole wave for like 175. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think there's a build a figure. Uh, but I just thought these things look so awesome that um, I just put in a pre order. Uh, by the way, I put in my pre order on Toy Stalker, okay? Uh, because uh, you get a discount there. Put in code House Hatter. You can, uh, you can get these. Uh, I, I think. These are going to be really, really coveted uh, once they come out. There's also this like early bird kit uh, that comes out that's uh, kind of like this cardboard diorama. Uh, you can take a look at it right here and you can get that as well. And you can get that at Toy Stalker too. I just locked in on these because I, I just thought these were just so cool. Again, it's not it's not officially Master of the Universe, but clearly they're like inspired by it. And uh, they just gave me all kinds of nostalgia feels. Uh, so if you do want those... Go to Toy Stalker and uh, and uh, uh, try to um, try to lock those in. Let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh, a lot of people. <laughs> we don't do statues a lot here, but a lot of people were were asking me where to get and how to get that Deja Thoris a statue. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> uh, but it is on Sideshow. If you guys want, it's on Sideshow right now. Um, it's uh, a one third scale statue which is huge, okay, and uh, it's $1,255, um, which is, that's the standard for, like, a statue this size, okay, uh, but yeah, you can get it on Sideshow, it's limited to 750 okay, but if you can get it, okay, and if you can make it past your wife or your girlfriend, and, and it's okay, and it's cool, you know, maybe you want to go ahead and get a Deja Thoris and show your love, 
for John Car Carter of Mars, okay? When people come in, they're like, what is that? You say, guys, relax. I'm a John Carter of Mars fan. It's okay. And they go, man, this, guy's, this guy must love literature if he were to uh, uh, put that in his house. Uh, so you can get this uh, on, uh, on Sideshow uh, as well. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, there is something else. I got these in the mail. Let me eh, let me go get them right now. So I got these uh, labyrinth uh, mini epic statues from Weta. Uh, I want to open these up, but they're like these tiny stylized kind of animated style uh, labyrinth statues. I just thought these were really cool. Uh, they cost about uh, 45 bucks each. I think I got it from Entertainment Earth. So here's a, a Jareth. And then uh, you get... You get a Sarah Williams, Sarah, and she's got a little uh, Winnie the Pooh type bear. It's got a red shirt. Okay. By the way, Winnie the Pooh in public domain now. You you can you can make Winnie the Pooh movies in your backyard, and nobody could stop you. Uh, and then I got this uh, this two pack, which is also Sarah, but she's got diff something. You know, she's got a little uh, different like Muppet thing puppet, and then she's got big old Ludo. I had to get this to get the Ludo. I didn't really need two Sarahs, but yeah, fuck it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just think these are these are really cool. So there's a Jareth and there's Jareth the Goblin King. What the fuck? What, what do I have? I have. I guess I just have Jareth. There's J uh, what's the difference? Uh, so you got Jareth and then Jareth the Goblin King. Okay, I guess the Goblin King comes with uh, like a cloak. I got this Jareth. I got regular meat and potatoes Jareth. I didn't even know there was another one, okay? But anyway, uh, that's all I picked up. And then I should also be getting in my Jubilee and uh, animated Jubilee and animated Wolverine um, uh, in hand. And I want to see what those look like because, uh, you know, I love that uh, that series. Da -na 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 -na. Well, anyway, uh, that's all I got. I think that's it for toy statue news uh for the most part uh yeah that's that, that's all i have so maybe some review videos coming up okay i i i there's a lot of shit i gotta open i gotta open those labyrinth things i gotta open that beetlejuice i gotta open some masses of the Universe. there's a lot of shit i gotta open maybe i do like i had said before i might do like a live opening video like a youtube live and just kind of like put it all in there and uh and yeah maybe i do that tonight or maybe I do it tomorrow night. I don't know. I kind of want to watch Top Gun tomorrow night. But maybe I watch it in the day. Anyway, I'm just like fucking sucking up the air now. Just, to, you know, just going over dumb plans. But uh, that's all I got. So uh, NECA coming up, okay, next Friday, June 3rd. Be ready. I don't know what time yet, okay. But I'm going to be there. And I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a purchase video. And uh, let's see. You never know. You never know with, with these purchase videos where it's going to go. Uh, so that'll be fun, but uh, I'll talk to you guys before that anyway, and uh, give you some more deets, as they say. So uh, that's it, TGIF, comment, subscribe, drop me a like, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.